Okay friends, it's time to get started on replacing our ignition control module. That's this area right here along the top of the engine. Now to remove this, we're going to move right over to the electrical connector. To take this off, I'm going to squeeze on the tab right where my thumb is. You can see the inside opening up. Now I'll carefully pull this right off of here. We'll give it a quick inspection. If you see any funny colors, it's probably corrosion and it would need to be dealt with. This one looks fine, so I'll set it aside. The next thing we want to do is remove our three T15 Torx screws. The tool to remove that looks a lot like this, essentially a star. Now we can grab onto this. We're going to lift it straight up and off of here. There's the connector. There it is, friends. Now before we continue on by putting in our brand new ignition control module, let's have a look down in this area. That's right where your connector is going to go, and you want to make sure you don't see any funny colors just like you did before. Now we can get ready for our installation. You want to make sure you still have your seal on this area. It's very important. That's going to help keep moisture out of there. Let's carefully take this and we're going to put it down in place on top of the engine. Go ahead and press it right down. Now I'll just make sure they're tight with my ratchet. Once you're sure they're all snugged, let's continue on with our electrical harness. Once it's clicked in, give it a little tug to make sure it's completely secure. Double check your work. Okay friends, so now the last thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and start up the vehicle. Let it run for a little while. Make sure you don't have any funny noises or check engine light. After that, take it for a road test. Thanks for watching.